Hi guys, Random here, back with a bit more World of Warships. Yes, I know, I miss Wednesday. Yes, I know. Um, I did record, uh, but to be fair, the games I had were absolutely horrific. Um, and they ended in a lot of swearing. So, I'm going to try again today. And we'll see if we can pull one out of the bag for this. Okay, right, so, let's uh, start off with the hump for Bismarck and um, yeah you'll see there two stars short so I've got a couple of uh, missions running one is win and survive two battles in a cruiser tier 5 to 10 and the other one is incapacitate the engine of enemy ships four times mmm RNG has not been kind to me no I managed to get one on the uh, engine incapacitation so I figured, right, okay, we'll, uh, we won't dump that mission, we'll keep that there. And then, like I say, I had some horrible, horrible games. Um, so I figured we'll crack on with it, we'll see how we do. Uh, let's have a look at the, uh, the collection here. You'll see there I have two duplicates and you need four to get uh, one of these. So, yeah, I'm down to just the last badge. If I can get that one then we will have unlocked the uh, two camos for the Bismarck and we will continue on with the uh, the quest for the Bismarck so Molotov yeah pulling out the big guns the strong Soviet guns um, Molotov tier 6 Russian cruiser um, it's a good boat it's a good boat 28400 on the hit points we have uh, three triple mounted 180 millimeter main guns with a 15 percent fire chance yep we're going for the bernie bernie um ap max damage 4400 he 2500 so they're not battleship guns but it's not a bad boat it really isn't uh you do have six single uh mounted 100 millimeter secondaries which fire out five kilometers um, 1400 max HE damage but you know 7% fire chance yeah anything gets too close you, you've got a chance of setting it on fire your main battery firing range of course 15.5 kilometers torpedoes yeah they're the Russian torpedoes they're the jokey 4 kilometer ones but if anything is that close they're 65 knots and you have two triple mounts one on each side so yeah, you could uh, you could get some decent damage. You surprise somebody around the back of an island. AA thirty four. Um, you're not too badly off for the the range of guns. Uh, six single one hundred millimeters. Actually, secondaries acting as uh, dual purpose, going out to three and a half kilometers at twenty two dps. Uh, two and a half kilometers, sixteen dps, six single. 45 millimeters, 12 single, 37 mil, going out to 30, uh, 3.2 kilometers with a 90 DPS. Uh, 1.2, you have uh, two quad mounted 12.7s and four single mounted 12.7s, giving you a total of 25 DPS. So, yeah, you're not breaking any records with the AA. Uh, 37.8 knots we do have a speed flag on uh, we've got an array of flags there actually so 37.8 knots pretty quick 860 metre turning circle pretty big and 6.3 rudder shift uh, let's be up front here we do have steering gear mod 2 on so that, that does knock the rudder shift time down um, yeah by 20% so yeah it, may, it makes it better it makes it usable um, you can you know try and dodge shots um, 11.2 detectability by sea 6.6 .6 by air fire your guns it goes out to uh, obviously the main uh, main gun shell 10.2 uh, artillery main range 15.5 is that right oh no no, no it's because I was looking by air yeah 15.5 um, secondary is 11.2 so that doesn't really affect it and uh, fire is 13.2 flag wise we have got uh, we've obviously got the premium camo that comes with the ship 
we've got uh, the AA, we've got the secondaries, we have got the fire flags, uh, the speed flag, we've got minus 20% to fire extinguishing and uh, minus 100% to ship magazine detonation and why not, bit of commander XP eh? always good, always good, we like the uh, commander XP so what have we got to do now, we got to jump into a random and see how we get on so um, I'm expecting this to be uh, hopefully better yes, fingers crossed, both of them it's going to make playing interesting with cross fingers but uh, yep we're not doing too bad mid tier uh, so it's a 5-6-7 game we are mid tier two Fabukis on the enemy team uh, so they could be uh, I won't say problematic but they could be a little bit tricky because um, we're you know sneaky sneaky Fabuki um, I've got uh, Emeralds there Emil Bertan Konigsberg, all of these are potential targets to knock the engine out on. So, yeah, I'm not too, uh, not too disappointed to see those, especially the Emerald. It's like a big XP pinata. Right. Rule number one: don't be first. We're in a cruiser, and uh, yeah, cruisers are relatively delicate we got a pink furry taco over there no that just sounded wrong uh, fur furu taco yes not a furry taco definitely not a pink furry taco no um so we're gonna we're gonna follow our xp pinata over here the leander yep the meander of leander we shall meander along with him um because we've got a hatsu over here so that's good. Hatsuharu gives us uh, a reasonable, reasonable chance against the uh, the enemy Fabukis there. Um, Detectability-wise, eh, there's probably not a great deal in them. Kind of depends if they've got skilled-up captains, really. So we'll put uh, a little bit of speed down now. Having the Furu Taka over here is not a bad thing because that's a pretty quick ship as well so you know it may may push a little further forwards than perhaps it should right here we go we have got uh, Fabuki over there so we're going to uh, put some shells in see what our luck's like probably not great first salvo you know everybody's shooting at us now right um the old Colorado there is coming into range and do you know what I like burning battleships so let's see if we can get a bit of a uh, bit of XP out of that one shall we yeah we got five hits 2475 on the damage there that's that's pretty good not disappointed with that can't see anything to shoot at at the moment that's a little annoying um, the Fabuki is still there, and I'm I'm wary of the torpedo threat. We should get a little bit of notice with the uh, Hatsu there, but so it looks like we're going to sail around this island, pretty much as a group, which isn't bad. So we got the Colorado again back into. Uh, our sights, we'll see if we can get a fire on them that'd be really quite sweet if we can oh look at that as if by magic and has he put it out it looks like it okay let's punish him now shall we punish him because he has used damage com now we're coming around that island that is pretty close there uh, can we get over him this island hopefully I'm watching the uh, the mini map there just in case anything appears and I'm gonna put some shells down there because I know he's sailing this way so yeah we did get a hit on him that's good 
We are going for the fire if we can get it. There's the Fubuki. Uh, the Fur Attacker's coming this way. Okay. The Fubuki has turned in. Okay. So let's give the Fur Attacker a little bit of room there. And let's go for the chance of fire on this guy. Now, the Pensacola I am turning broadside onto, which probably is not a good idea. Well, there's no probably about it. It's a terrible idea. Um, okay. So, yeah, there we are. We're on fire. Uh, we've got the New York coming across here. I'm going to turn in, and yeah, I am taking I am taking damage here. So let's see if we can uh, take the Colorado again there. Might get a shot onto him, and I'm going to load AP. I am going to load AP because that uh, Pensacola there needs to die. He really needs to die. I'll be really happy if it takes his engine out at the same time. Yeah, we've got a nice citadel on him. So, yeah, you can you can have your little fire there. Have your little barbecue. It's all good. Hopefully we get some of them over the island. We did. Not that many, though. Okay, let's put the, uh, the plane up. And that Pensacola is probably going to be quite hungry for me. Because I did just kill him. Right. Have a lovely, lovely day, Pensacola. Uh, no. Oh, oh, repairs back up and I didn't use it. Oh, dear. Um, right, Colorado's down. Nice. What have we got over here? We've got an Atlanta. Okay. And, of course, the Emerald. We have that horrible little Fubuki over there. We need to kill that. We really need to kill that. So I'm going to go about there. How are we going to do for him? Doesn't look bad. Oh, so close. Yeah, right, he's done. He's gone. Awesome. This makes me happy. Right, let's rotate the guns. Because we know where the enemy are. They're over here. And uh, we need to be pointing that way. Right. Uh, I do need to survive this. And we have got HE back in the barrels. So that's good. I need to uh, take advantage of these islands really. Okay. We have Nice and Howe coming over here. Let's spread those shells a little bit. We should hopefully be able to uh, get some on him. Yep. That's not too bad. Uh, don't aha uh -huh. you there Atlanta uh, you we need to cook we really need to cook you down now I don't want to give him oh could that be one of the things we're looking for I think that was the steering rather than the uh, the engine but that's not too terrible I'll take it I'll take it there's another incapacitation there I'm going to try for about there. Because that Hatsu just put smoke down and blocked our view. I can see he's down to uh, minimal hit points there, but really? Hmm. GG, Hatsu, GG. Right, okay. Nisenhow is there. Let's see if we can get uh, a little bit of cooking done on the Nisenhow. On the nose. Nice. Let's hope that he is not going to be able to repair that. That will chip away at him. Give us a nice little damage score there. Uh, the Emerald seems to be coming around here. They're coming this way. Hmm. Okay. Not the best, but... Uh, we can we can see what we can do. Okay, we have the New Mexi coming in. Uh... Let's see if we can get some shots on the New Mexi. Yes, a nice fire. Let's 
see, can we get any of these yet? No, we can't. Okay. That New Mexico has dived behind the island there. I don't know whether he was trying to turn and just got it a bit wrong. Uh, there's that Atlanta. There he is. We need to uh, pay him some respects. Oh, Ireland. Full reverse. And lay off the gun for a minute. Uh, now, is he going for me or is he going for the fur attacker? Uh, looks like he's going for the fur attacker. Okay. That is very fortunate for us. We do have the Emerald there, who frankly is right up in there. The Hatsu is there. We are turning. We are getting sufficient room to actually start pulling away. Right, okay. Okay, let's see. So let's turn the rudder. Remember, I do have that rudder shift module. We've got some smoke that's just disappeared over there. Um, let's have a quick look. We've still got a Fabuki lurking around somewhere. So we need to uh, be mindful of that. We've got a couple of minutes on the plane, though, so that's a little bit of a pain. Uh, where was this? Fabuki was last seen right over the other side of the map, so... Yeah, it's not dreadful. And we're not spotted, so... Yeah, it could be the British cruiser, maybe. The Emerald. Oh, there he is. Hello, Emerald. How are you? Are you... Are you waiting for me? And a lovely little bout of AP. Are you? How lovely. Okay, so let's turn the guns. That Atlanta... Probably going to play for the island. That nice and how is going to probably end me. I'm now spotted by a plane, but I can't see the plane. Okay, the plane is there. Is he going to cut? If he's going to come close to me, then I can anti air him out of the way. Um, hmm. Right, so we are now no longer spotted. I'm going to fake over here to the right because I think that Atlanta is going to come around that corner that's my belief right the plane has spotted me again and the Atlanta has come around the corner and now the Atlanta is dead right great so we need to get out of here now so I'm going to put the anti-air on And we've shot him down. Okay, the nice and how is there. The nice and how is probably my biggest worry at the moment, especially with those secondaries. So let's turn around. We do have those secondaries firing at us. We really don't want those secondaries firing at us. And the nice and how uh, has got a... Oh dear. We did not live to survive that. What a shame, eh? We were doing okay there. We were doing okay. We, we didn't get quite as many fires as maybe you'd hoped for. But um, 68k in damage is, is reasonable. We can live with that. I have a feeling it's probably going to be a loss. Um, that Nagato really isn't doing a great deal that's useful. You know, he needs to be a bit more aggressive than hanging right back at spawn. But, but yeah, that uh, German battleship, the nose now. The nose. We've been poked by the nose. Mm. New York fraction of its health left 28 29 now oh 8 869 374 probably not going to get another salvo off no so we're now resting on this Nagato here 
who could be pushing a little bit harder than sailing north. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Let's see what he does before we're too harsh. So he's got a uh, nice now New Mexico, an emerald, and a Fabuki. The emerald shouldn't be a problem. Uh, the New Mexico and the Fabuki shouldn't be too big of a problem. However, that nice now that could be an issue. Looks like the uh, Fabuki set up camp over here. Well, I don't know. That could be the uh, the emerald, couldn't it? With the uh, smoke there, it'd be in the right place for him, wouldn't it? Around that side of the island. Uh, there we go. We've lost sight of the uh, the nose, but uh, the Mexi is there. Yeah, it looks like the nose is over there somewhere. So the Mex is here. And that looks like it's probably the emerald. So we can only hope this guy actually grows a pair and goes and kills them. And New Mexi's gone behind the island. We're we gonna see a kill message. No, we're not right. That didn't uh, didn't do enough damage then. So they are now in our base. That can only be the Fabuki because we know where everyone else is. Uh, and I'm going to say the Fabuki's over here somewhere. Um, which chances are means he's probably going to be launching torpedoes. So. I think fairly shortly we are either going to see this guy deleted by the enemy or we're going to see some little sausages of doom coming zooming through the water probably from this direction because I think that Fabuki may be hiding just there <coughs> of course I could be wrong but that's my suspicion so, New Mexico, popping in and out of vision there, um, yeah, Nagato, honestly, I think you could have played this a bit better. Right, here comes the, uh, the nose, the nose is poking out, there's New Mexi, I will be amazed if he gets there were the torps yeah I'll be amazed if he got uh, a decent hit on him there because he's slightly angled to him and it's German that German armour so how are we going to do with this oh uh, not great okay it's taking the hits taking the hits that's going to be the uh, new Mexi firing there I suspect yeah there's the Fabuki. And there's the Emerald there. So they're all there now. All you need to do, Nagato, is kill them. Or get killed. Okay, right, it was a defeat. Never mind. So my quest is obviously still going to continue. Um, don't know what modules we incapacitated there, but... Uh, I'm not seeing anything pop up here underneath, so I'm guessing probably not an engine. Um, let's have a quick look here. Yeah, not bad. We did okay there. 821 on the uh, base XP. Two sunk. Two planes killed. Yeah, kill the planes. Detailed report. Yeah, okay. Pensacola. Killed your aircraft. Uh... Yeah, we knocked out the steering twice on that Atlanta. Hmm. That's disappointing. Disappointing. Oh, in Jesus, you are against me. Okay. Uh, yeah, 68, 547 damage. Uh, 54 main shell hits. Two planes. Two incapacitations. Neither one of them the engine. 
Uh, two sunk, five fires, four citadels, 170,286 on the credits, 1232 on the XP, and 62 free XP. What did we take home? We took home 143,486 on the credits, and 1643 on the commander skills. Yeah, it's a bit of a grind. The last thing you need is always a bit of a pain in the neck to get. It's always the one that never seems to come. But at least this game was a bit better. At least it's a bit more entertaining. The last few I've played have just been terrible. I've been mid-commentary and then been uh, detonated or, you know, just... I, I mean, even in one game, I got talked by friendlies, which just... Shocking. Terrible. Um, but yeah, at least this one was worth watching. So there we go, guys. My grind continues. How are you getting on? How are you getting on? How is your uh, little book of badges looking? Is it looking okay? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Mine's not looking too bad. Not too bad. It's just that elusive last one. So you know what to do, guys. If you think the video was worth it, then uh, drop it a like. If you are new to the channel, then the old subscribe button is there just for you. If you want notifying when I put a video out then the uh, little bell button next to the subscribe if you uh, hit that that will send you a notification and uh, don't forget to let me know in the comments how you're getting on with the uh, the hunt for the Bismarck have you found it yet hmm that's the question anyway that's enough from me for now so thank you ever so much for watching guys but for now it's Captain Random signing off take care and I'll see you again in the next one